right, everybody, this is where we're standing on the bus. We got our cool old light poles in here. We got a few supports, like the ones with the two by fours, those are completely welded in. The supports welded in there. I'm um, just waiting to take the two by fours off till I have the rest of them. I got three of them over here. I got three, three of them over here. And you can see my, uh, my bracing that I'm doing here by putting this piece of inch and a quarter pipe or tubing in where the seams are. <clears throat> and I got a few to do. And then there's one, two that go above the door there. And then there's actually four over there on, above that door. So we got a lot to do. But that's my goal today is to get all of this bracing in so that everything stands solid. And then, uh, you know, if it ever stops raining, we can finish welding that back there. So yeah, that's the plan for today. We're gonna go ahead and get all those supports welded in. Hopefully we can get that done. All right, so here's our process of bracing here. This is our new piece, or this is our pieces that we cut out of the back of the bus. And then we've got our um, six inch, and it was there about seven inch piece of inch and a quarter tubing. It just happened to be a piece of tubing that I had laying around that I wasn't going to use for anything else. And this is also what we use for our jack. So it's time to disassemble our jack and salvage this piece of tubing for our bracing on our supports. everybody thought I would give you guys an update on what's going on with the bus uh, it's been raining a lot so that's kind of been a little bit of a hindrance but we've still been pressing forward uh, it stopped raining a little bit yesterday and I was able to get this guy fully welded in although I can't quite get on top yet because I need to take this brace out which we don't need anymore this side over here still hasn't been welded this is the wet side that's always dripping so we got the tacks that we put on it in the front, basically. Well, it's not more than a tack, you know, it's a pretty good weld. Uh, top, I think, is fully welded on that side. So, but we got all of the bracing in. So all of our bracing is in. And that is a big step forward. So let's go inside real quick. So we still gotta come in here and grind down our welds in a little bit here and there, just to make sure the windows are gonna fit in there. And then we got the front done there. We have a ton of other stuff to do along with this, like the, the motor, the wiper motor harness needs to be extended so it can come all the way back down. Oh, my snippers. Um, this harness here needs to be cut and extended from this point here or from this point here so this can all go back up because we didn't lengthen anything around the edge here that'll all still tuck up in there but now this harness is not long enough to reach so that's a big project we're going to have to work on but that's kind of later i'm not really too concerned about that uh we got to start thinking about what we're doing here as far as this back wall. I gotta start thinking about what I'm gonna do here as far as this back wall, because that's starting to become a concern of mine. Uh, now that we have all the bracing welded in, I still have to, this is what I'm working on today. 
I need to box all this in and reinforce this and make this as strong as possible. It's sitting in a really strong spot. In here, there's like a factory built corner with some extra bracing and stuff. But I want to get that thing um, gusseted in there and get it as strong as I can. And then uh, we need to turn our attention to this back wall here and that's going to add a ton of strength back to the bus i mean the bus is strong as it is nothing nothing moves if you push on stuff but uh that back wall is my next big concern so i need to get some metal for that and i need so i need to get some metal for that and i need to think about how i'm going to construct it and i think i'm going to have to well yeah i definitely i'm going to have to pull more paneling so i'm going to have to come in here and take all these screws out and pull this panel here and then I'll probably keep moving forward and I need to pull because all of these panels in here are going to be gone I kind of want to keep the ones back here so I'd like to put this one back up that has the uh, the lights in it which I can do I guess now if I want to but yeah so I'm going to keep moving forward I'm going to pull some of this paneling off because I'm actually going to use it to do some of the patchwork so we'll see how that goes and uh, we'll catch back up with you guys a little bit later All right, so we got a slight change in plans here. We went to the metal store. We got a bunch of inch and a quarter, and we also got some inch. That's for a different project on the bus though. But inch and a quarter is gonna be to build our back wall. So that is what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna start with building that back wall, or at least the frame of it. And then we're gonna move on to taking that brace off on the rear. All right, like I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by a dead battery. Uh, we're gonna take this, we're gonna finish, we're gonna build that back wall and then at least the framing and then we're gonna take this brace off and we'll finish welding all this and get the top boxed in and hopefully the rain has stopped so that we can actually accomplish that. But yeah, that's the plan. guys here's where we stand we got a wall here so 
This uh, opening right here is set up for the factory rear door on the bus, except for I have to make a couple modifications to it. Uh, the door in the rear comes up straight like this, like the wall did, and it kind of curves like this. So what I got to do is cut the door in half, straighten it out, and then add a big chunk in the middle because it's a pretty short door. And now we've got a uh, six foot something door. I can't remember what it is, but it's over six feet. So we got to take that door, chop it in half, lengthen it, make it fit in here. We still have to build the actual door jam that goes around the around the perimeter of the door frame here and then obviously we have to skin to skin the uh the door as the what am i trying to say we also have to skin the walls obviously so that will be something on the list for sure in the future but for now we're gonna keep moving on and i gotta move on to finally bracing up the rear of this thing so I'm going to get to that tomorrow. We're losing daylight, so it's time to call it quits. Good morning, everybody. Uh, you may notice that my facial hair is gone. Um, it's going to take some getting used to, but you got to shave it off every once in a while. So yesterday, we finished up our wall here, or at least we finished the framing of it. And then today, we're going to turn our attention to this back section here. So we have to finish welding the bottom here. This is top is finished welded. That's got to be finished welded once we pull this cross brace off. And then we're going to come up in here and we're going to do some reinforcements and some gusseting and whatnot. And then same down here. I think we're going to add a gusset in here and over there. So that's the plan for today. But we're going to start by taking this brace off. That's the first thing that's got to go. You got to get that sucker out of the way, and then we will proceed with fabricating some sort of something. Yeah, some sort of something. You're going to see some sort of something here, so stay tuned. Alright, so this side is completely done, or this pole. Alright, so it's really hard to see, but there is our gusseting done right there. And then we got our one gusset on the bottom there, and over here we got to stop because uh, I have our gusset made. This slides in here like so, but... Uh, wiring harness needs to come down somewhere and I don't want to wrap it around this pole so what I need to do is I need to drill a hole in the top of this post big enough that I can run all the wires which are right here down into some tail lights in the future so that's what I'm gonna do first I'm gonna drill a hole and then we're gonna get that welded in get this all painted up and then we can check this part off of our list and then, oh yeah, when uh, we pull the bumper off on the bottom, I'll be able to drill up through the bottom and pull the wires through.
right, there you have it. Everything is boxed in. Probably see this one better. Yeah, well, not really because of the dang sun, but there you go. That's all boxed in. That's good down there. We got paint on everything. I got to do some cleanup back here. We also got this wall right here figured out. So yeah, that's it for this episode. Um, in the next episode, or I'm going to start on it here in a few minutes, I'm going to start cleaning up that front area, and we're going to get that front header panel put on there, and we'll start doing the sheet metal on this whole thing, getting windows in, all that stuff. It's time to get this thing finished, especially now that we got this rear area pretty much done for now, besides for you know sheeting the wall, but that's part of the sheet metal. So yeah, structurally, we have pretty much... I think everything welded in that we need to except for maybe some small bracing like underneath the windows I got to put those in but yeah it's pretty much sheet metal time from this point forward so you'll catch that on the next episode please smash that like button for me hit the subscribe and smash the bell as well if you want to get notified of new videos coming out I try to do a new one every Wednesday and Saturday thank you guys for watching we'll catch you on the next one